Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can make a simple script using Windows Mobile and Eclipse. On my screen you can see I have Eclipse already open, I have the device manager running, and I have also the remote device screen enabled. This remote device screen is an active screen, any input sent to this screen will be sent directly to the device. Ok, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is create your uh, MERT test project. So you're going to select File, New, and then other. Under the JMO solution subdirectory you can select mode test and you need to enter a name for your project. Press finish. Now you have created your uh, first MERT project. Uh, the file that is most important for you is going to be the user script file this is where uh, the record statements uh, are, are produced so you can replay your script um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press uh, start recording and then I can just manipulate the device and that will record uh, record statements in uh, Eclipse so I'm going to press something in the file explorer Here is the record statement. It says on the explorer, uh, you selected uh, my images. I'm going to go back up. Will also record a statement. And then I'm going to go into uh, my videos. going back up. Now if I press uh, stop recording I can replay the script. Uh, I just have to uh, right click uh, the project name and select run as Java application. It's going to build. You just have to press OK here. <coughs> <coughs> now it's going in the main off building in. it's going to go back up and then it's going to go in my videos and at the end you're going to get a message that says script finished if you want to see the results you can uh, right click your project just press uh, refresh and here you can see the result file right click it open with the web browser and we can see that the script passed now if you have a look in the object repository uh, you can select uh, object repository here select open with and select uh, Mer object pool editor This is the the code uh, for the object pool, but you can switch to the GUI interface by selecting object pool here. Now for instance, if we have a look at uh, this object, which is a more window, we can see that we can uh, recognize uh, the properties of this window. For instance, the ID, the title, the text, and uh, the class name. Now these properties are configurable. Uh, if you select in the device manager tools uh, object configuration <coughs> uh, and you select more window you can see that these attributes are the ones that uh, are visible in Eclipse but you can also change these here by cl clicking on add and remove and select uh, all the, uh, the properties that you want that is how you make a simple script uh, using Eclipse